My nigga, my nigga, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening, we in this bitch getting cacks and cool, my nigga, dog gang Gucci, I don't draft Gucci, show my nigga, nigga today, nigga right about now, I'm finna go over, uh, I'm finna go over this topic, long story short, you know what I'm saying, uh, through the years, up until this day, I always get asked questions when it comes to to the game banking culture and just the cripping itself and a certain shit. So I'm gonna see if I could uh, shed light on certain shit and give my point of view on uh, how things is going these days. So clearly my nigga, we up in uh, March, 2021, you know what I'm saying? March, 2021. <clears throat> So let's start off by talking about the state, nigga, of uh, cripping my nigga today, right? Nigga, cripping today is a fashion. Cripping today, um, ain't what it used to be. It's not what it used to be. Um, in my point of view, nigga, cripping is it's a rap. You know what I'm saying? And notice how I'm saying cripping, not game banging. Um, we're gonna get to that. But cripping, my nigga, today, it's over, my nigga. It's a rap. You got a lot of crab ass, bricket ass niggas out here, my nigga, like really making this shit look bad and shit like that. Um, and that's numerous ways. Times is changing. Things is different. So people move a little bit different. And when it comes to this culture, they're doing it and putting this shit in a, in a bad light. Like many niggas who, who do this shit outside of California, they put this shit in a bad light because number one, they don't even know what the fuck they saying nor doing. Niggas is banging sets and streets and hoods and shit like that they never even been to in, in real life. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you how you spot certain shit. Um, like when it comes, <clears throat> now I ain't trying to bash nobody, but if you feel like the shoe fits you, then clearly my nigga, I'm talking to you. You dig what I'm saying? But let's just talk about outside niggas slash rappers, my nigga who who do this shit. First of all, my nigga, rapping and cripping really don't go together, you know what I'm saying? For 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 numerous reasons and shit like that. You listen to the motherfuckers that they doing all shit, they doing a lot of telling on themselves and uh, shit like that. But rap niggas who do this shit, you got a lot of rap niggas who claim rolling 60s and shit, never even been to California, don't even know shit about the 60s, my nigga. Young along niggas from the 60s, my nigga. Like, Niggas will be in bumfuck, whatever the fuck state they in, claiming a rolling, whatever the fuck, and don't know shit about it. You know what I'm saying? Can't go down to the land because uh, it ain't going to be how it was in Georgia. It ain't going to be how it was in Oklahoma. It ain't how your crip and my nigga Oklahoma is going to be different from your crip and my nigga in California. Your crip in Georgia, Tennessee, all that shit is going to be way different, my nigga, when you come to California, the way that a George nigga gonna test your cripping, my nigga, ain't gonna have shit to do with how a uh, with how a, a Hoover nigga come and check you or a real sixty nigga come and check you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? The temperatures, my nigga. There's levels to this shit. And no disrespect to Oklahoma nigga, there's gangsters all over the world. If it's not Crips all over the world, I'm sorry to say that, but it just is what it is. Don't give a fuck about these niggas. You know, there's plenty of OGs out here. Who's like 45 years old, 50 years old, my nigga, who who think that they OGs and big homies and shit like that from Oklahoma. And I hate to say this shit, but my nigga, you not. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can't come down to uh to Cali, my nigga, pull that rank shit, my nigga. You basically gonna be starting from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be starting from the bottom. And this shit has been proved time and time again. And niggas outside of California ain't gonna wanna hear that shit. But it's the truth, you know what I'm saying? But it's the truth. We look at you niggas as victims and, and shit like that. 
Um, you could be a gangster, my nigga. Like, and I ain't talking gangster like GD shit. Like, I mean, like, just a gangster ass nigga. But you're creeping, my nigga. I'm sorry, but not really. But ain't nobody really fucking with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's just me. Like these rap niggas. As soon as they hit the rap scene, and and uh, they a creep. You know, the first thing they do is they try to go down to L.A. And fuck with these crippin' ass niggas. Let me tell you what happens when they do that shit. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get extorted. You're gonna get extorted. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get extorted. Like, I hate to even, even bring that shit up, but like, <clears throat> you got like a nigga like Chris Brown and shit, right? Think about that shit. This nigga's from like Virginia and shit like that. And then years down the line, you start fucking with this blood shit. You think that them uh, Fruit Town Pyro niggas let that nigga do that shit for free? Is that what you think? You think that this nigga just Pyro or just blood or whatever the fuck my nigga because uh, 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 he's just Chris Brown, my nigga? No. You got to pay for that shit. You got to pay for that shit. And that nigga paid for that shit. There's plenty of other artists, my nigga, who, uh, who when they come down, they have to pay for that. You know what I'm saying? And it's the truth. Go ask them LA niggas. They not finna let you come in, uh, uh, fuck with their movement, my nigga, for free. There's not no handouts when it comes to this crib shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and a lot of niggas who was born like in the, like in the 2000 era, 2002, and all this other shit, these baby ass niggas who's cribbing today, my nigga, these niggas is not no motherfucking cribs. They just not. That's, that's, uh, <clears throat> There's are certain things that these niggas do that's not reputable. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me give you some shits about today's Crips, nigga. Alleged Crips today, right? <clears throat> let me tell you what they're not going to be doing. They're not going to be online talking shit to niggas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't do that. I see alleged Crip niggas online snorting powder. Drugs, number one, you don't do that. All these things I'm saying right now is violation. Number one, uh, uh, or number three, posting fights and shit online, like with the homies and shit. That's crib business. That shit don't even go online. You know what I'm saying? That shit not even supposed to leave. Whatever confine that shit happened in, it's not supposed to leave from there. You know what I'm saying? Period, point blank. Like, 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 a nigga, a nigga should be violated for even recording that motherfucking fight. You know what I'm saying? A nigga should be violated for even recording that shit. Get along posting that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Um, whoever was there was there. You ain't just gonna hear about it. And it just is, it is what it is, unless you see these niggas get the round two. You know what I mean? But if not, I should not be able to go online, or YouTube, whatever the fucking see crap fights. You know what I mean? You should never be able to see that shit unless you like walked across it and just happened to be up in the area or some shit like that. You know what I mean? That shit does not go on camera. And back to the drug shit, number one, um, substance abuses and shit like that. Like these niggas over here with hair running and, and playing with their nose and, and popping pills and all that shit. First of all, that's not even a clear mind and that shit should be frowned upon. But you wouldn't know that because it's this music and all this other shit and all this trans shit. Real lokes ain't fucking with that shit. You know, everybody has their demons and shit like that. I'm pretty, there's some hard-hitting motherfuckers who do some drugs and shit like that. People get into motherfucking... People go through shit in life and, and, and go through certain substance, uh, substance abuse and things like that. It happens. It's life. Niggas is all human and shit like that. But I will tell you, though, drugs, hard drugs, is always going to be frowned upon. You know what I'm saying? Always going to be frowned upon. Um... <clears throat> And let me break down the difference between cripping and gangbanging. You know what I'm saying? I crip, but I don't gangbang. I have banged before. You know what I'm saying? But anything else, my nigga, is just straight crip. Let me break down the two. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers ask me all the time. Or people be like, oh, yeah, he uh, he bang. You feel me? He a crip. Well, yeah, I'm a crip. But that bang shit, you don't have to watch out with all that shit. Because to bang is an action, which comes into a whole bunch of shit. Um, 
And I'm just going to break it down the difference between game banging and crimping. So crimping basically is Black Lives Matter before it was a Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? Crip <clears throat> was motherfucking formed for the community. You supposed to look out for each other, uh, uh, or women, or youth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure ain't no injustices going on like that. When fucking Miss um, Miss Thompson down the street, all that's black lady. You know what I'm saying? You look out for her. You make sure niggas ain't running to her motherfucking crib. I don't know. Maybe taking her trash out um, on the street. Before uh, uh, the duck motherfucker come, you looking out for your elders. You know what I'm saying? You see kids um, going without. You know what I'm saying? Dog boys on the block. They're going to put that money up. Uh, you're going to make sure that nigga get that money for them shoes. You're going to make sure the young king got whatever the fuck he need. You know what I'm saying? You see a young homie on the street, you're going to get on his ass about being on the street. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be uplifting the community, not bringing motherfuckers down. You know what I mean? Like when I was growing up, OGs and shit. Just because they was doing dirt, <clears throat> they always they always told the motherfucker the, the other side of, of the dirt. You know, never made that shit seem cool. This is just where I'm at. This is how I got here. This is just what it is. And this is what you can do not to get here, you know what I'm saying? And be better than Kess. And that's what it's about, right? So crippin' my nigga just so long. It don't got nothing to do, my nigga, with, 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 with uh, bloods. It ain't got nothing to do with, with blocks and all that shit. It's a community thing. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to look out for the community. I'm supposed to look out for you. You're supposed to look out for me. We're supposed to look out for them. All these kids, all these black women, or shit like that. That's what we here for. That's what we supposed to be doing. It ain't got nothing to do with blue, this, none of that, all that faggot ass shit. It ain't got nothing to do with that shit, right? Right. And let's go game banging. Uh, <clears throat> game banging is an act. You know what I'm saying? The game bang, game banging is an act of some shit that you're gonna you're gonna commit into doing for a dumbass reason. You know what I'm saying? And majority of the homies have been there and done that shit. But at the end of the day, it's pointless. Check yourself. Like I said, Crips you for the community. The only time I ever got into a game banging altercation, which I'd have been there and done all that shit, not my proudest motherfucking moments, but it's uh the way I seen it, it was like a a self defense type of thing. You know what I mean? Um, and usually the game banging shit happens because these niggas is from over here, we from up over here. These niggas is red, niggas is blue, or whatever the fuck the color is gonna be. Uh, and it's shit like that, which I don't. I really can't tell you about the history of, uh, of that blood shit, but I do know that when it comes down to this shit, it's like blood and crypt is like enemy number one with each other and shit. You know, cause where you from, uh, uh, all that stupid ass shit that don't even matter. Because ten times out of ten, all the niggas who I know who's from um, Hoover, uh, uh, nigga, the sixties, my nigga, the Garters, my nigga, just. Crips all through California, my nigga, don't own no property on none of the blacks, my nigga, that they live on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they grew up in a mama house. They still live in a mama house or a grandma house. Nigga, they live up over there. They don't even own the motherfucking house. They pay rent up over there. So it's like niggas is willing to go to prison and jail over a block that they don't even own nothing on. You know what I'm saying? Which defeats the purpose of this cripping because... 10 times out of 10, and them blood niggas that you finna go hurt, or them crip niggas that you finna go hurt, uh, they black, right? Which defeats the purpose of this crip in my nigga, of looking out for your motherfucking other, my nigga. It shouldn't matter if you got bloods over here, crips over here. Um, it should be what it is. Like, them blood niggas, like I said, I don't really don't know what them niggas is on, like, with their history and shit, but I do know, uh, when it comes down to this shit, like when I see blood niggas, I personally, I don't give a fuck. I personally don't care, especially if they black. Just off of the rip, like I'm supposed to harm cuz because he got a red rag in his pocket, my nigga, or whatever the fuck, I'm gonna sit in prison with a bunch of other blood niggas or whatever the fuck because this nigga got a red rag on or because this nigga from X, Y, and Z, you know what I mean? 
And game banging is really like an activity when you're still in your own hometown because so much animosity, so much funk, so many deaths and shit like that and already occurred that the funk is already there. So it just inherits from generation after generation after generation. And at the end of the day, it's all pointless though. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers be having kids, moms, and da 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 da. And we just repeating the cycle, yeah, uh, of hurting motherfuckers for nothing over a, over a color. Over a color. You know what I'm saying? So when you be on some, some when you on some game banging shit, you ain't doing it for the crib shit. You doing it for your own, your own personal mentality. You doing that for your pride. You doing that for you. You not doing it, nigga, for nothing cripping. You know what I'm saying? Game banging really has nothing to do with being a blood, being a crip, none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just don't, it just don't play a part. You are here, my nigga, for the community. So if you like want to be a crip, my nigga, and you just want to be known as this hard ass crip nigga, man, you in the wrong field. You in the wrong field. Maybe you should go be a blood, nigga. Maybe you should go and shit here, my nigga, and uh, go be from somewhere else. Though, because at the end of the day, my nigga, uh, uh, nigga, it's not even about none of that shit. It's not about none of that shit. We not, uh, we not here worrying about just one thing. You know what I'm saying? We not worried about, you know, like Black Lives Matter. They'll sit here and come out the woodworks when a white cop shoots a motherfucking. Uh, uh, a black nigga, you know what I'm saying? But the niggas don't come out the woodworks when Tyrone shoot Michael or whatever the fuck nigga the case may see. You dig what I'm saying? But the Lokes, though, nigga, real crippin' ass niggas, we not built on that animosity. We, um, we supposed to protect it all. It shouldn't matter if, 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 if Lil Cuz is from, is Pyru from wherever the fuck. Because it's black, you know what I'm saying? And that's what that shit should stop right there. Because it's black, because it's one of us. Because it's got a red rag on, because it's wearing red with the woo. That shouldn't be a motherfucking dilemma. What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? Of course, I done been into what these niggas slob this, slob that. Yeah, I done been, not my best moments of shit like that, because I take myself out of my own element and shit like that. But game making will come. You gonna have them niggas, like I said. You could be on on uh on some peaceful shit. You could be on some kicking cack, seeing cool. You might have that nigga who, like, you see how I'm talking right now, right? I ain't with all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I can get with it real quick, but I rather not. Cause I'm gonna go all the way. You feel me? I'm gonna go all the way. Um, but it's cause I'm cool. You might have this one nigga up over here who ain't with none of that shit that I'm talking about. This nigga feel like he see Crip. He's supposed to get down. You know what I'm saying? For what reason? I'm not even sure, but I'm not finna sit there and find out. But if I gotta get down, I'm finna get down. At the end of the day, nigga, all the real Crip niggas who I know, even the niggas who's underneath me, you know what I'm saying? I teach these niggas, man. We not even on none of that shit. Like, let these blood niggas do what blood niggas do. Like, period, point blank. And Crip niggas need to do what Crip niggas need to do. You know what I'm saying? Because coming back from my motherfucking era to today's era, these crippin' ass niggas, because it's levels to this shit. Like, like I said, growing up, you ain't finna see no niggas recording no fights with no big ass cameras and shit like that. These days, a nigga got funk, nigga, they quit to go online and, and, and talk that shit. They quit to sit here and go on camera, look at the camera and talk shit for a couple of seconds, make a clip, post it on IG, my nigga. That's some sucky shit. That's some sucky shit. You know what I'm saying? Get off on who you mad at. Get down. My nigga, just get down. All that, nigga, all that jibber jabber, my nigga. Like, ain't nobody trying to be on none of that shit. At the end of the day, a lot of you niggas just make the cases for the police, my nigga. Y'all making the case. Y'all got a whole ass archive, my nigga, on Facebook about what y'all going to do to each other, my nigga. And who shot who and who did what. Not even knowing that the police is sitting here saving all that shit you niggas is talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's for you to be sitting in jail, my nigga, over a motherfucking color or over a motherfucking black that you don't own shit on, my nigga. The white people own that shit. The Hindus own that shit. 
Niggas ain't owning shit on those motherfucking blocks that you throwing them, claiming and getting shot for and this, that, and the third, my nigga. And let me tell you another thing about that shit when niggas are getting blasted, right? Now what? So now this nigga daughter or son got to grow up in the same motherfucking path that majority of us grew up in. My nigga, I'm, uh, nigga, I'm 29 years old, guys. Through my 29 years of life, I know one nigga, you know what I'm saying? One nigga who has parents, a mom and a dad in the same household. So, like I said, if you're going to sit here and take up, uh, uh, put one of these young niggas through the shit that we already came through over a color or a motherfucking street name that we didn't name, we ain't got shit to do with, my nigga, none of that shit, my nigga. Like, it's just pointless as fuck. So, when it comes down to this crypto shit, you see these niggas online, big C's and all that. All that shit is cool. All that shit is cool. But what is cuz doing with them big C's? Is cuz giving back to them schools? You know what I'm saying? What is Cuz doing? Is Cuz giving to them little niggas? Is he give? Is he dropping knowledge? Or is you going if you quit to hand a nigga a gun, my nigga, uh, nigga, then a brand new book, my nigga, you's a clown ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you egging on the beef, my nigga, instead of trying to fix this shit, my nigga, you was a clown ass nigga. Period. Point blank. A lot of you niggas is clowns. A lot of you niggas think you gotta be like you just like. The hardest niggas up out here, cuz a lot of you niggas is just poodles, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't even know what the fuck nigga this crib shit actually even stands for. You niggas think it's crib, so it's fuck bloods, my nigga, and let's get it cracking. Straight like that. Nigga, you wrong, my nigga. It don't have nothing to do with no funk. It don't got nothing to do with no funk. Nigga, when funk, my nigga, come your way, you handle it as is. And I would assume you will be doing that whether you was a crip, blood, nigga, a Christian, a Baptist, a Buddhist, whatever the fuck. You're going to defend yourself, right? If bullshit come your way. So, it's the same shit when it comes to this shit. You only hear for the community, bro. That's it. That's all. You not here to go fuck with these niggas around the corner. You not here for none of that shit because it don't matter and it's hella irrelevant, my nigga. Like, seriously. Um, all that BKCK shit, my nigga, that shit sound cool. That shit sound cool. But at the end of the day, my nigga, that's some lame ass shit. That's some lame ass shit. It's garbage. Um, it don't, it don't, it don't stand for nothing, my nigga. Like, and a lot of niggas I know that be the same BK this and CK that ain't killed shit. Don't even have the right to even be saying that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. You ain't kill shit. You don't pop shit. You ain't got no gun. You're not a shooter. You're not even a fighter, my nigga. You was an affiliate uh, and a nigga with balls when you in a group of other motherfucking niggas, my nigga, which tells you you not creeping, which tells you that you was a bitch ass nigga. If you need to be with two niggas, five niggas, a group of niggas to make your point to another nigga, you was a clown and you was a bitch. Um, think about the hardest creep nigga you know. From hard from your perspective, my nigga, or righteous, I should say, them niggas ain't with no bullshit. That nigga probably nigga go to work, you know what I'm saying? Um, take care of his motherfucking family and do what he need to do. Y'all niggas was quick to be putting money on these niggas books, free the homies and shit. No, nigga, keep the homie locked up because homie is stupid. You know what I'm saying? Homie out here doing dumb ass shit. When homie had all the opportunity like everybody else in the world, my nigga, to be a righteous ass black nigga. Instead, he wants to go down the same path that we didn't seen hundreds of niggas already go through. So homie's an idiot. Homie needs to be locked up. You know what I'm saying? Homie need to be locked up. Instead of putting money on homie book, put some money on these kids books, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And let's see what these prisons is looking like later on, my nigga, in the world. Because this shit is just common sense. All this raw, raw shit, my nigga, this shit is stupid as fuck. They gonna keep building prisons, my nigga. They gonna keep putting your ass in it, my nigga. And then all of a sudden, when you niggas go to jail, guess who ain't there, my nigga? Um, 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 the same niggas you was banging with, banging with, they not there. Um, the niggas who's gonna be there is your mama, uh, uh, your kids. Uh, uh, your bra, grandma, whatever the fuck, nigga, niggas in your motherfucking family. 
you know, the niggas who you wasn't worried about when you was out here with the niggas and shit like that. When you was out here cripping, nigga, and gangbanging and shit like that. So, you know, my nigga, this is just my two cents of some of you niggas, man. Um, like a lot of you OGs, like, y'all start disciplining motherfuckers, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas is going into the beauty supply store, niggas spending a dollar oh seven, my nigga. And getting a bandana, all of a sudden these niggas is top notch crippling or top notch pyro ass niggas and shit like that. But this shit is a fashion, my nigga. Like, this shit ain't no motherfucking fashion, my nigga. And even to the homies who uh, who done died up over this shit, I keep it real with you. Uh, nigga, majority of the time, I don't even feel bad about the situation because you took a good thing and made it something bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, you made it something bad. You made it something that it wasn't. You know, this is for the community. So you can't be out here murking motherfuckers, especially black motherfuckers. And then you want to be bitching when the police do the shit to a motherfucker. You ain't no better than them. They ain't no better than you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want nobody else to come murk somebody in your motherfucking nationality, whatever the fuck, nigga, what makes you any better, my nigga, to do it? Just because the nigga's from two streets over, my nigga, or whatever the case may see, can I? Like, my nigga, and even and even and even in the ways of how niggas are getting put on this shit today, it's a walk on. You know what I'm saying? You know, like college recruits and shit. They got the niggas got the full rides and shit, and you got the walk ons and shit. A lot of these niggas is it's just walking on and didn't even play a uh, high school ball. They just heard about this shit. They're like, oh, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Then the same niggas getting chalked out. Like I said, look at these dumbass niggas today. These rap niggas and shit like that. That's, these niggas is banging and shit. They're not even making that to see past 23 cause, because they hella fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? They hella fucking stupid. I don't give a fuck how good you can fight. Nigga, how hard you win. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, cuz. There's a nigga out here that's willing to shoot your ass and go on about their motherfucking day. You're going to be fighting for your life in the ICU, my nigga. And it's going to be just like that while another nigga raising your kids, fucking your bitch, and all this other shit. When you have one job, what's to be a black nigga? Learn what you can learn, my nigga. Uplift your community, cuz, and go on about the motherfucking day, my nigga. And pass that shit down, my nigga. Um, pass that shit down to the next generation. They can come, my nigga, and quit right, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of y'all niggas, big homies today is not big homies, my nigga. They my little homies. I nigga, I be real with you. I talk to OG niggas like they fucking three year old kids, my nigga. And I ask these niggas main questions. And when they give me these questions, nigga, the answers, my nigga, they know they sound dumb as fuck because they know they didn't they didn't lay niggas down this wrong shit, my nigga, for so long because it's ridiculous. It seems like niggas who sit here and talk with common sense be the niggas who be bitches or some shit, or the niggas who ain't with the shits, my nigga. I guess, because them the niggas who want to be on probation or parole and be going to jail and do all this other shit, taking showers with niggas all day, and, and yeah, you know, prison is an accomplishment to a lot of these niggas, you know what I'm saying? And them is the niggas that a lot of people sit here and, and, and want to mimic and want to be like, my nigga. If there's something hard about, nigga, uh, 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 bending over, coughing for, uh, uh, for another grown-ass man, my nigga, keep doing what you're doing, my nigga. Is there something hard about sharing a little ass cell with another grown ass man, do what you do, my nigga. If there's something hard about being in the dorm with a bunch of niggas, do what you do. If there's something hard about having niggas tell you when you can and can't do shit, keep doing what you doing, my nigga. Like, you're not gonna be the hardest nigga on the streets. You're not gonna be the hardest nigga in prison, my nigga. But what you can do is be the best nigga that you could possibly believe, my nigga. And that's just the end of the story. Like, the shit that y'all niggas just trying to make us is just ridiculous. My niggas just crit my nigga 24-7, my nigga, all day, every day. Uh, but we sure the fuck ain't out here, my nigga, finna sit here again and talk with some niggas over no stupid ass colors, my nigga, or over no dumb ass black, my nigga. I could sit here and say blacks all day long. And guess what? I don't own property on none of that shit. So it seems like the niggas who actually from there don't even live over there because they own that shit and they're making money and they elsewhere, my nigga. Being in the hood all day, it's not an accomplishment, my nigga. That's that's a, that's a letdown. That's a failure. You ain't doing shit with your life. Um, besides throwing up big B's and big C's, my nigga. I'm glad you know your alphabet, my nigga. 
But when you go and crypt my nigga, crypt the right way. You know what I'm saying? It ain't talking shit. It's uplifting, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's being a man, my nigga. It's growth. It's growth. It's growth. I, I wasn't always able to talk like this and do shit like this. It took me a couple of times to bump my stupid ass head, my nigga. But I got it done. Um, and nigga, you can get that shit done too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you not tired of seeing nigga your mama cry? You not tired of see, nigga putting a burden nigga on your family, my nigga? You not tired of looking over your shoulder, my nigga? You not tired of nigga missing gaps out of your family's lives, my nigga? You not nigga, you not tired of missing funerals because your stupid ass is locked up? I mean, you not tired of nigga having motherfuckers say free the homies, nigga, on 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 uh motherfucking YouTube and Facebook and IG and all that shit, nigga. Like, nigga, that shit is old. You can say free the homies all day. I have yet to see a governor or a president be like, oh shit. All these niggas are saying free the homies. I guess we gotta let this nigga out. They don't give a fuck about the homies, nigga. Homie put his shit over here and homie work for the state now or for the feds now. Uh nigga, that's what homie on. So uh, a lot of you niggas who sit here and, oh, I miss my niggas and shit. No, you don't. Because you was egging your nigga on to do the fuck shit he was doing to get his ass in that grave that he in right now. You know what I'm saying? You helped that nigga uh, 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 be removed from his motherfucking family, my nigga. You, just off the stupidity, my nigga. If you not man enough, my nigga, to sit here like me personally, when I talk to certain my homies and they want to run shit by me, I'm quick to sit there and let a nigga know. My nigga, you sound dumb as fuck right now. And I would expect the same from them. Nigga, don't let me, my nigga, ruin my life, my nigga, over some dumbass, uh, 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 some dumbass shit, my nigga. Uh, yeah, my nigga, how long it gonna take you to shoot a nigga? Beat a nigga up, you know what I'm saying? How long it gonna take you to shoot a nigga? A couple seconds? A couple seconds for the rest of your life in prison, my nigga, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Stumping a nigga out till you get a concussion, my nigga, or something is worth it. Or a nigga coming through to shoot up your house and kill your kids, your mama, my nigga, that shit is worth it. Because at the end of the day, nigga, over a color, nigga, or because the nigga's from a certain block that don't nobody own property on, my nigga, nah, it just ain't worth it. But like I said, I would advise a lot of you niggas to just grow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, just, uh, just grow up, Cass. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about the outside perception. You know, uh, niggas might call you a square, my nigga. But guess what? You're going to be a motherfucking square nigga that's free, living righteous, my nigga, take care of your business, my nigga, like a real ass crib nigga should. You know what I'm saying? These niggas standing in front of the block all day, pants sagging and blue rags out. The niggas ain't cripping. The niggas are stupid as fuck. Sitting on the block doing nothing. Doing nothing. They got hella kids, ain't with their kids, ain't doing shit. Them niggas don't need to be repping this crib shit, my nigga, period, point blank. So I don't know uh, how niggas take this shit, but this is just my little my little two cents to some of you dumbass niggas out there, man. Grow the fuck up. Uh, if you're going to crip, my nigga, crip the right way, because you don't need to crip with 20 niggas, because, you know, niggas be having them, nigga, the motherfucking phones and shit up in the air with, 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 with 20 crip niggas in the back. I see 20 snitches, nigga, or I see a couple niggas, uh, 20 niggas are going to start running when the shit hit the fan, and 20 niggas who are going to be co-defendants, my nigga. And uh, let me tell you something about co-defendants when you go to jail, my nigga. You got 19 other motherfuckers, best believe. Somebody finna rat. One of your crip niggas, one of your blood niggas, one of your SA niggas, one of your GD, vice lord, whatever the fuck, one of your white supremacists, whatever the fuck it is that you from, care, they gonna rat on you. They gonna rat. Because they really didn't sign up to go to jail. They signed up to look good. You know what I'm saying? They signed up to nigga, nigga, cuz, cuz, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Or blood, blood, blood. That's what they signed up for. They didn't sign up to actually get shot. They didn't sign up to actually shoot nobody. They didn't sign up for none of that shit. It just looked good and it sounds good. So they finna roll with it, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? A real motherfucker gonna sit back, my nigga, and don't want no parts of no funk with no nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I tell a nigga like this straight up. These niggas out here today, they crib walk on my nigga for a fashion. Check this out, cuz if you see me crib walk on my nigga today, somebody finna die tomorrow. Straight like that or that same night. Nigga, if I nigga bust out nigga some of this footwork, my nigga's going down, my nigga. A lot of niggas don't even know. They think that shit is a dance. Nigga, this shit ain't no dance, my nigga. This is a this is an act. 
Now you bust that walk out, my nigga. Something's gonna happen. Or something did happen, my nigga. But think about that shit. Uh, Cause a lot of you niggas don't know shit, nigga, about shit, nigga, on crib. 